Hello friends! Hoping you all had a wonderful holiday season this past week. My husband Andy and I were originally staying put to do our first married Christmas together in Colorado. But then a friend from work invited us to spend Christmas in a yurt in Utah. The place we're going is usually booked out six months in advance for these yurts because there's only two of them and they're in a beautiful place. So of course we said yes and miraculously got a friend to watch the dogs on Christmas Eve for us. Hi friend! Oh wait, you're all the way up there! Wait, let me see if I can get you. Whoa! What a terrible way to spend Christmas. This is so pretty. It started to snow for the first time all winter as we were driving out, but it didn't last long once we were in the desert and in the sunshine. Ow. So this all used to be behind us, what happened? We don't know. Once we got to the yurt and unloaded the car, we immediately went to explore in the park and spent a good hour or two playing in the rain and running around in all of the hoodoos. So many of them looked like cute little mushroom people. I was half expecting a real goblin or fairy to pop out. Just being in such a remote place on a holiday was kind of eerie at first since this place would usually be packed with tourists but with the exception of one or two other families in RVs, we basically have the entire place to ourselves. Making this look like a slasher film. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? And I knew it would catch up, and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. This road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. I'm so cold. I miss my mom. I don't want to die in the mushroom forest. Time has gone and I grew up. I somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Seeking the goblin's lair.
Who would have known I could use the tripod like a selfie stick? Did it work? <laughs> Rainbow is worth $20. Yeah, what I didn't get a chance to film because I was really invested in just being in the moment was our bocce ball tournaments outside of our yurt, our campfire that we somehow miraculously were able to keep alive in the rain using dead tumbleweeds as kindling, and the stargazing at night with no light pollution. This is actually a really great place to go if you're looking to experience the dark sky atmosphere that some of the national parks are really focusing on offering this year. We also didn't really get any shots of our gourmet feast that we cooked for ourselves on the grill that took us probably 20 minutes to figure out. By the time we were ready to go to bed, the propane fireplace heater made it so cozy to just fall asleep and see the stars out of our windows in the yurt. The next morning, waking up on Christmas Day was the first Christmas Day I haven't woken up in a house and walked downstairs to a tree, but it was so magical nonetheless. I do, Swedish, do your Christmas dance! It's Swedish House Mafia. Yes! There's just something magical about waking up in nature and the first thing you do is being able to make a fresh pot of French press coffee on your propane grill outside, make a big breakfast to share with your friends before you get ready to pack up and head back home. Christmas Day, we're going home. Christmas! Christmas! We're gonna go home and open presents with the dogs. Honey, what was your favorite part? Um, playing bocce ball in like the hoodoos was pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, I've never stayed. These are the hoodoos. I've never stayed in a yurt before and it was super cozy. Yes, I agree. It was like I said to him, it's like being on the river on a river trip without the river. No boat. Mm, yes. All 